No, hi, I'm Sarah from the upcoming. Pleasure to have you here. How does it feel to be here at Marrakesh Film Festival? Uh, Marrakesh, it's home for me. I've been coming here for a long time, both in the city and in the festival. And of course, so much anticipation for challenges, not least as it, we didn't see it this year at Venice. What can you tell us about the film, working with Zendaya? What can people expect? I think it's a, it's a cinematic uh, tour de force of uh, jealousy, rivalry and love. And the actors in the movie, uh, Zendaya, Josh and, uh, and Mike Fyth, and Josh O'Connor, are sublime and I love them. And why did you want to make this film? What was this about, about the story that was really compelling to you? Many reasons that come together for me as important. The great script by Justin Koritskes, working with my friend Amy Pascal, the great producer, and of course working with Zendaya and Josh and Mike. And Zendaya in particular, she's had such a meteoric rise. What makes her stand out as an actress? She has a personality that is uh, complex, fierce, smart. She's a great worker and she's a person of cinema. She knows cinema very well. And you've also got another film, is it The Queer? Is it coming out? Quick, it's coming out, is that next year? Can you tell I, us a bit about that? Uh, I just wrapped Queer. I mean, I'm in the process of post-production, so we'll see. Well, I met, I met Tilda a few times before meeting in person. I met her through the movies of Derek Jarman. Then I met her uh, through uh, uh, a movie called Female Perversions, which I loved very much. And then I had the privilege of meeting her personally by chance in an event like this. It was a, it was a, a session of uh, independently British cinema in Rome. And I had uh, the courage to go and talk. But when I started talking to her, she, I discovered a person that is so open, so generous, so warm. And we became friends instantly. And now I think, I think in a couple of years, it's going to be 30 years that we are friends. Well, I, uh, that, that, that was a great production. Uh, Christos Kostantokopoulos helped us a lot, his company. The movie was uh, uh, necessarily to be shot in Greece. Uh, the, it wasn't just a landscape. The director, Ferdinando Cito, uh, was very adamant about uh, making sure that the Greece was a character in the movie. So we were very well welcomed by Greece. It was a great experience. You know, like I love to work so much that I started to put together projects over projects, and now I have so many projects that I don't know which, if that's going to happen. I think the strike was very important, both for the, the writers and the actors of the WGA and SAG. Uh, um, urgent and important uh, 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 topics to discuss and fight for. I was uh, in the process of wrapping uh, Queer. We actually wrapped Queer, probably, we wrapped Queer, we shot Queer when the writer's strike started, and so the writer had to leave. And we wrapped it like a week before the actor started. So we were kind of in an in-between place that allowed us to make the movie. I think that uh, we have to see what happens next year with movies that have been pushed or postponed. My movie Challenger has been postponed for that. I mean, Marrakesh is one of my favorite ones. I come here all the time with great pleasure. Festivals are important because you learn new languages in cinema, you celebrate people, and you understand what uh, the importance of cinema. Uh, it's not a mystery that the Venezia Film Festival is my home, I've been there so many times. Uh, but in general, I, I strongly support festivals.